What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Good freaking morning. It is Fanboy Expo morning. Saturday morning. I don't know. We're in Tennessee. We're having a damn good time. I know you guys saw the video that I uploaded yes well Friday, yesterday. Um, super, super, super excited. Having a lovely time with Foxy. So shout out to him, dude. Thank you for the hospitality. Right now we're just waiting on him. Just, uh, yeah. Just chilling. We are going to go to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. So flipping hell yes to that. I'm... Um, I love me some Chick-fil-A, I love Cane's. Those are my two go-tos. So the plan, pretty much, is to go to Fanboy. It is 7.30, 7.40 right now, and it opens at 10. We're gonna get there by nine to stay in the line and wait, then we're gonna go. Uh, Cody said it normally takes them to like one or two to get completely through the whole expo. And then after that, I think we're gonna go hunting a little bit in the Knoxville area. There's some town or mall or something i don't know you guys will hopefully see it i don't know how much i want to record today i might make this different than any other i'm waiting for them come on guys i know my ocd is kicking in or my add whatever it's called where are they but i really don't remember what i was saying oh uh i'm gonna film this a different way i'm gonna uh, it's really hard because i don't know whether i should film everything at the show or just bits and pieces because the last show that cody and i went to the columbus toy show um, that was a good video, but I feel like I didn't give it my all, so I'm gonna try to do things differently. Karina's gonna film a little bit with this and try to get some, like, B-roll shots or shots of us just, like, browsing, hunting, walking, or just random stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to switch it up. So, if this does happen, um, give a thumbs up to future Josh for doing that, and if not, Oh well. If this is the first video you have stumbled upon of mine, please hit that subscribe button. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I've tried to dedicate two live streams a week and going on hunts every weekend to either like this, all the way freaking driving five hours for a toy show, um, going to local toy shows, going to local comic shops. I try to avoid going to Walmarts and all that stuff over and over and over. If I do, it will only be once a week and then the next video is hopefully of local toy sh or local comic shops and toy shows and all that good jazz. Please hit that like already. Just give me some good vibes right now. And we'll either see you from Chick-fil-A or Fanboy. I don't know, but let's just see. So just kidding. Uh, the next clip that you'll see is us walking down because Cody and Brooklyn got here a little earlier than expected. There they are. Look at them. They're so excited. So flipping excited. Actually, I am for 100% sure. What? <laughs> the chariot awaits. The for real mobile awaits. Chick-fil-A is next. I'm freaking excited. Let's go get some food. So we have arrived in downtown Knoxville, I think, is where we're at. And we are walking to the expo. How long of a walk do we have? Uh, two minutes. Two minute walk. So that's, that's going to be like a quick 10 seconds for you guys. But yeah, so we're just enjoying the, uh, the architecture, the scenery. I don't know what the hell to call it. But... <laughs> But downtown Knoxville, we got this beautiful parking garage next to us and just some cool buildings, I guess. I don't know. But we are super excited. Are you excited? Yeah, that's how excited she is. She has her coffee. She's good to go. <laughs> I'm ready. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. Now you're stealing my line. We have, yeah, I haven't introduced everybody yet. We have Jesus, Cody, Brooklyn, uh, Brand Brandon, Brandon, Joey, and uh, Keisha. Damn, I'll get it. Uh, so yeah, we're walking in there now. I'll pick the camera up when we get there. I'm nervous and I'm excited all at the same time. So fingers crossed. All right, so we just made it in, and first impressions is it looks good. 
It's, I don't know if it's as big as Columbus. So Cody might have been lying to me on this one. No, it's good. But no, I'm excited for this. So I'm gonna try to do as much film. Well, get on my face. I'm gonna try to do as much filming as I can. Like I said, Karina is gonna be taking the camera more than normal. Well, actually, she's never done it before. So, but I will show you guys what they have. Let's this take like a the look. We have some Neckas. I really do want to get this Freddy Krueger at some point. Right now, really here oh right my now. God! Stop it! You got this. Do it. Look, that's the price of admission. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to pay tax though. And here we go with some puppies. Yeah, it's not autographed. Hey. I was looking for it. Yeah, but here's a couple of Star Wars random pops right here. What? And they come with case protectors, so that's dope. So our first booth that we walked up on, we found some friends pops, which is pretty dope. Uh, Chandler and Joey probably are like our favorites, I would say. I don't know. What are you like? Oh. I was chanting yeah. by in the background. And shout out to Garrett, right? Well, Garrett's Garrett, name? Yeah, yeah. Dude, shout out to you, man, for, I don't know, watching my videos and recognizing me. I think that's super dope. So if you're watching this, man, thumbs up to you. Thank you so much. But I don't know if we should get these or wait, because this is our first booth. So I don't know. I guess we'll just end up seeing it. So at our second or third booth, Karina found Focus, the uh, Funko action figure packs for the Stranger Things, which is pretty cool. And then she's finding, what do you find? Show me. Uh, Leia from Wave 2, Snowtrooper, Poe from Wave 2, it's like new, is this a new pilot, yeah. Adapt Driver, Praetorian Guard, and Finn. And here we have some Homecoming. Falcons, we go Transformers, and some old Ninja Turtles. These might be the re-release. I don't know for sure. I'm not not 100 sure on that, guys. And Queen Face Hugger and Vasquez. I think I said that right. Here we have a uh, Toy Biz Deadpool for 125. Annabelle, I like. God, I want Annabelle. Jack Torrance. I like the comment of Jack Torrance, honestly. Oh wow, this is 10 bucks. Right there on that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I need it for it to open, but ten dollars if I see any legends. I need. Did you find anything in the front? It's half off. The front is half off. The f yes. This front. Yes, the front is half off. Both end caps are five dollar items, and the back is all ten dollar items. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Cody, maybe twenty five bucks for what? this. Freaking Mayfex Batman, dude. Twenty five bucks. That's pretty good. Are you buying it? I might. Why? Are you a Batman fan? <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, I was going to think about getting it for Kenny. Oh, dude, go for it. It's pretty good. I don't know. Is that a good price? Cap. Uh, Spider Girl. Or yeah, Spider Woman. Bullseye. Who's that? Yeah. I don't know who that is. I might get it for Kenny. Honestly, Spider Woman. Wasp. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. Yeah. You that one? yeah, nothing good. Here's the SDCC Thor pack and Thrawn. We got Ray and Luke up there. We got 135 on Thrawn, 130 on Luke and Ray. What do we have on these two packs? Probably 40, 40, and 40 is what I'm assuming. Oh, we have Vader up there. Stranger Things. And 20 for Vader, that's pretty good. We have uh Ryu or Ryu up there. Yeah. I love that figure. It looks like just some random legends. 50 for Deadpool. <laughs> no, thank you. And selects. And that's about it for this booth. So currently going to our next booth. I am really on the hunt for some vaulted or rare pops or rarer pops and some Toy Biz Legends. I really, really need some sweet Toy Biz Legends. Here are some pops, some horror pops. Got Pinhead, Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy. Hopefully we find a chase randomly, that'd be awesome. 
not going to happen. And yeah, got Beetlejuice, Hannibal Lecter. I have to check just because you never know. Got a scary ass predator dude right there. Got Beetlejuice. We got Foxy Faux Real. Uh oh. Come on, buy it and get it autographed. <laughs> yeah. Oh look. Retail. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not bad at all. Retail. Ooh. Uh oh. So I might have just found the first purchase of the day. So my first pickup, uh, this is the first pickup of the day, is Leatherface. Leatherhead, not Leatherface. And I guess this is this Good month's specialty series. I don't know, but 12 bucks, can't really beat it. It has better GoPro. Oh, it has? Yeah. Oh, they just put it back in there? Yeah. Do you happen to have uh, 50 bucks though? I don't know. And, and it's been open. Okay. But this is pretty much what I've been after. Um, you come in here with the This was a Toys R Us exclusive, I think, right? Yeah. Toys R Us exclusive. That, uh, that gym set pack is pretty sweet. I want to get these just to have like some army. That would be some type of thing. Cause, uh, yo, my fault. Okay, so here's some toy biz. Looks like we have Weapon X, Colossus, Daredevil, The Thing, and nothing, honestly, nothing really good. So I'm not going to show absolutely everything. Looks like we have Spidey and Colossus. Or <laughs> looks like we have Spidey and Cyclops for 20 apiece. We have the Avengers 3-pack for 50. Anything good over here, dude? And looks probably stuff that's on the pegs right now, right? For 20 retail. That's cool, but not looking for that right now. over here pretty decently priced eight dollars for most fewer ten like that px exclusive luke cage got the talladega night pops Some pretty common ones. Let's go over here. Ooh, got the Professor X. How much is this one? 15? That's not too bad. Huey, Louie, Dewey, Webby, and Scrooge. So here's another booth. I don't know what Karina showed you so far, but this is the other side of the booth. And look what I found. Freaking Megazord for 75. I, I can't do 75 on it, that's for sure. I said I wouldn't pass it up again if I saw it, but I can't do it. Hopper and Biohazard suit. 25? Yeah. Here we are with some more Star Wars pops. Up on a shelf, pop, Taz Chase, Starlord Chase. We have some Black Series. And then, here we go. Oh, there's normal Emperor Palpatine for 35. And here we are. Maybe some common type pops. I don't know. Older, possibly. And some more pops on the other side, real quick. Chucky looks pretty scary. Give me nightmares on that. And that's about it. And then. Box Lunch Woody, black and white looks like. And Harry Potter pops down there. Uh oh, what'd you find? That Kuma remote? Yeah, dude. But I probably, yeah, I probably went. Oh, that's not bad for a chase, honestly. For that one. Juggernaut's 20. 20 for 29.9 Spider Man. This might have been, this might be a, a bad clip, so sorry guys. Because <laughs> we're talking and I'm trying to film and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so here's just some randoms. What do we have? Cyclops and Aries for 30. And here we go. These look like just 
slightly common. Oh wow. 20 is not bad considering Walgreens never gets their stuff I've in. I've never seen that tank tripper either. Holy shit, that's yeah, that's Walmart. Huh. Right? Yeah. But I remember everybody lost their minds over the Baxter stock. Yeah. Now. They still are. I still need this one because Walmart screwed me over and smashed yeah, yeah, it. Mm -hmm. it's pretty sweet. Booth back. Okay. Here's the other side of whatever booth we were just at. I want to give you guys a small overlook of this at some point i promise i'll be looking at figures because i feel like a lot of this has been just pops so i will apologize for that jesus ruining the shot just kidding just kidding the white lantern batman is pretty cool i still like batman pops i'm not a huge dc fan but i like the batman pops yo literally super stoked look at this booth right now Flipping, look all clone wars cincy wait a minute here we go clone wars cincy my man why are you not here and the, the Captain America I've been looking at, 25, 25 bucks. bucks Hell yes. Some loose things here too. Oh man, get out of my way. <laughs> 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 oh, we got, no, you're good. Saga Legend stuff. Flipping awesome. Oh, we have some older Black Series. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at all these vintage collections. You never see these. So, I'll have to send a picture to Cincy. And then here, you never see this. Carded Clone Wars figures for sale at a damn show. And here we have some, what is it, Legacy collection, right? Yeah, Legacy and Saga Legends. 30 bucks. Oh, Chinese version. <laughs> 250 for Celebration Luke. Oh my god. That's crazy. Yo, this is a dope ass booth, but the prices are like beyond top notch. I mean, it's okay, I expect it. I'm not really collecting Clone Wars figures right now, but a couple that I would want would be Carded Savage, Carded Evan. I have this one. Heath Koth is a good one to have. Oh man, I'm losing my fucking mind right now. So I really wasn't trying to be like a uh, like a cheap ass with that, but I just I hate seeing stuff so so inflated. I mean, eBay prices are fine, but when they're higher than eBay prices, I, I don't know. I just get mad about it. So I don't know. But right now we're trying to find Karina. And new booth, we have some Abomination, Secret War Cap, Miles Morales, and Iron Man. See, these are the prices that I like: ten and fifteen bucks. Very good. And what do we have down here? Here are some newer kind of sort of legends. I don't know. Another Miles Morales, Morbius. I love this Hawkeye. Shout out to Kyle. Thank you, dude, once again. And yeah, that's probably it for this booth. Okay, another different booth. Here we go. And I found something that I've been after. And it is, bing, this guy right here. Super, super stoked for that. And she found, what was that? Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spidey. I'm gonna see how much this is first. What I found you? Oh, how much did you find that for? What is it? I think 15. Dude, pull that trigger. I think, I think 15, we'll see. Oh, oh Wolverine, the Jubilee Wave. Oh, man. I'm just gonna dive right in and randomly miss stuff. See, I would wanna open them though. That's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the bad part, man. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. 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 Hopefully it'll be up by Monday, Monday night. That's, that's what I'm aiming for. I'll be watching. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's awesome. Scar Predator, Unmasked Scar for 40 And then we have the Masked Scar Predator. And then we have Spike Tail Predator and Stalker. And along with the Celtic Predator. And then an AVP Predator with the blood. There we go. Blood on his face. Bunch of loose figs right here. We have all the way in the back. That Legends pack, I don't know if you guys can see, it's the Elektra, Daredevil, Punisher, and Spider-Man one. Not bad, 65 for the pack. Right there's that Wolverine, I'm leaving it behind. I'm super, super sad about it. So at this point we are, we're what? Oh yeah, this is a good, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, man, Yo, Wolverine goes the Master goes, you're ruling the gatekeeper. That was hilarious. Anyways, what I was trying to say was I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I don't know, are we done? Or, uh, well, we're gonna take one more lap through, so I don't know how much I'm gonna actually film, just because we've, we've walked around the whole thing. 
I, from what Cody and them have said, I guess this area that's like bare should be, I don't know, they should have stuff in there. Booth should, should be. Booth should be right here. There was and a lot more last year. This is really disappointing. Yeah. We're gonna make it best of it. Yeah. But the cool thing is it's only like noon right now, or it might even be like 11.30. Like yeah. So we still have an ass ton of time. We have Barry Williams over here. Shout out to him. We have Linda Blair from The Exorcist. We have Karina from Josh Pence Logs. And then, uh, yeah, some the Ramones guys, someone from the Ramones. And then a couple a couple other people I have no idea who it is. Yeah, Foxy Fro is the real celebrity. So, yeah, I don't know what we'll do. I might pick the camera up, might not. But, yeah, as always, guys, you'll, you'll see when I see you. Whatever. So, we are traveling up the escalator because I think we are officially out of here. We are going to a place called Comic Comic Exchange. Comic Exchange. It's a local shop here in Knoxville, and I guess they normally have a booth here, and they did not this year. So we are going to go check that out, and then possibly hit up a mall. What do you think? Let's go to the mall. We in the mall. <laughs> oh Let's go God. window. Okay, young Jock. I said, what do you think of the <laughs> expo? Oh. Oh my God. Okay, take two. What do you think? Got of this? A picture with Jason. Yeah, she got a picture with Jason. I'll throw that up right here. And then, um, what else? What else we do? Uh, she got a pop, right? Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Um, obviously, we already said it, but there was quite a bit of pop. Yeah, it was like a pop filled thing. It was mainly, it was more pops than anything. I would ask Brooklyn what she thinks, but she doesn't like being on camera. So, Brooklyn, what do you think? Oh, I'm not aiming at you. I'm, so you can talk. Okay, she doesn't like to talk. It was good, I guess. So. Not as good as last year. That's okay. So, Comic Exchange uh, lighting. Comic Exchange next. We'll see you there. Just kidding, guys. We are home. It's Monday afternoon. It's like five. Wow, it's five o'clock on Monday. I just got done editing the video and I remembered I didn't flip and end it. So, this is the ending to the video. I'm gonna try to make this real quick so I can edit it, render it, upload it, and hopefully have it to you guys by tonight. But first, I want to give a huge thank you and huge shout out to Cody, Brooklyn, for, I don't know, showing us around your freaking city. I mean, it, it was the best weekend we've had in a very, very long time. We did a lot that I didn't record, so make sure to go check out Cody's channel or Foxy For Real. He filmed a lot that I didn't after the show, so please go give him some love. His link will be down in the description below. Along with Jesus, or Ready for Work, Joey, Archaic TV, they did some sweet videos as well. Jesus actually uploaded his video yesterday, so go check it out. And I absolutely enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to Joey's video. Cody's video should be up tonight as well, so hopefully this doesn't interfere with it. I'm going to set my camera down real quick so I can show you guys everything that we got over the weekend. So my first pickup is for Cam, the collector. He has been after this GameStop exclusive Kratos. I think I got this at like a second time around store or something like that. So another big shout out and thank you to Cody and Brooklyn. This is actually Karina's, but she's at the store and I want to get this uploaded soon. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. They gifted her with a Chase Heffalump for her birthday because her, her birthday is the 14th. So it'll be this coming Saturday. And at the show, you guys did see me pick up this Captain America figure. I've been looking for this for a while. The last time I saw this was at a trans fan shop with Cincy and he scooped it up. And when I was there last weekend for Kokomo, I saw him displayed in his uh, collection. So I definitely want to open this bad boy up and try to try to find some room. Next pickup was the North Pole Camo Batman. There's a reason why I bought this pop. It is because Cody hooked me up with the negative Batman. At a booth we saw, uh, I think the four of them, all four Target exclusives. I pointed out saying that the negative Batman was pretty dope. You guys probably heard earlier in the video how I, I said I like the DC or the Batman pops. So because of Cody, I now have black and white and white, all white Batman. Next pickup was specialty series Casey Jones. And of course the reason why I picked that up was because I got the specialty series Leatherhead. I've debated getting him for a while. All the shows that I've seen him, he's gone for around $20. And the booth I got this from was for 10 So between the two, I only spent 20 bucks. And apparently, like I said in the video, this is this month's specialty series, so I'm pretty hyped. And the next pickup was 11 with electrodes for Karina's birthday, New York Comic Con exclusive. You guys know she's obsessed with Stranger Things and Harry Potter Pops. And I believe Karina picked this up at CM Games or something like that. It's just the Heffalump Common. But funny thing is, 
she got the chase after she got this. So she was super excited. Cody Brooklyn, thank you so much once again. So overall, we got eight pops, one figure, a hell of a good weekend. Seriously, Cody Brooklyn, thank you guys so much. It was a flipping blast. So that is going to do it for the video, guys. I'm going to get this onto my computer, get it edited and uploaded. By the way, I started a Twitter today. Um, I'll put the, the things down here along with my Instagram. So make sure to go follow me there. I'm going to try to be more interactive with you guys there. His Instagram really doesn't let me do that, kind of. I don't know. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like if you did. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, may the figs be with you. All right guys, so I'm editing the video, as you can see here, and I forgot that I recorded something after we got back <laughs> from uh, from drinking one night. So kids, don't drink unless you're over 21. And yeah, it's just too funny. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, but this is after the, <laughs> the end card. So yeah, and enjoy, roll the clip. So we have finally ended. Oh my Lord, was that a cockroach? cockroach. Yes. Stop it. Huge. It looked like a goddamn mouse. No, it was a fucking cockroach. Okay. So yeah. we. Look, Ray, look. What? It's right here. It's Where are we? A cockroach. Yo. Well, at least it's going away from our hotel. True. Apparently, look, there's a little cockroach you guys he's can't see. Yeah, he's doing hood rat things with the friends. Or the <laughs> things with the friends. So we have finally ended this. Uh, uh, hunt, whatever it's called. It is, uh, where we go? Here we go, focus. 12.57. We're drunk as fuck. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it right now. These are the post credit scenes. So if you guys watch this, uh, what's your, uh, what's your favorite beverage of choice? There we go. That's how we'll know if you watch. It is one o'clock in the morning. I'm still wearing sunglasses. Um, what are we doing now? We're, we're, we're splitting up. Splitting up. Forever. Not really. I'll see you in the nope, yeah, we'll see in like three hours. But we're going to get our stuff. I don't remember what we bought. I know I got something for Cam uh, right there, I think. Uh, yeah, so, um, that's your candy. yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, shit. What? Candy. Candy? What about it? You got candy, brother. Can. No, I didn't. It's yeah, bro. It's me. It's her. It's her. Yeah, yep. it's our chocolate raisin. So anyways, that's probably, you know what? I'm just going to end the video Here's here. my leg. Oh yeah, Karina got a leg, Foxy's leg, and Brooklyn's you leg. Got so much. You get your, yeah, you get your we did leg. get a lot. Yes, I did. So this is going to do it for the video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. Yeah. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure to check out Foxy Pharrell's channel. His link will be down in the description below. You want to say anything, dude? Yeah, just uh, let's stay Foxy. Stay Foxy. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, Karina and Brooklyn. Nope. Oh, whoa, is Brooklyn waving? Okay, dope. All right, so that's going to do it for the video. I don't know what else I'm gonna say oh my besides gosh, I uh, this. I haven't still have a camera. You haven't what? Yeah. <laughs> no, Foxy. Because you have my camera now. That's why you haven't stolen it. Yes. So, yeah, now we're gonna go up to the hotel, uh, finish everything. <laughs> so, that's gonna do it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. May the fix be with you.